Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to solve an application related problem. In this example, this is a an application related problem and I'm going to state it. A company determines that the cost to manufacture x cases of jam is given by this function. C of x is equal to 100 plus 15x minus x squared. We want to find the instantaneous rate of change of cost with respect to the number of cases produced when 1. One case of jam is produced. 2. When five cases, five cases of jam are produced. So to solve these types of application problems, we're going to follow the steps we have followed uh, 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 we followed in the previous examples. So in step number one, we're going to write the formula the way we know it, the formula for the slope or the first derivative is going to be equal to the limit as h approaches zero, f of x plus h minus f of x, this whole thing divided by h like that. In the second step, we're going to substitute the we're going to substitute the given function into this formula and therefore we can write this one out as the limit as h approaches 0. The first part of the the first part is h 100 we have 100 plus 15 times x x plus h like that minus x plus h the whole thing raised to the power of 2 this is the first part of the formula the second part of the formula is 100 minus or plus 15 x minus x squared this whole thing divided by h like that okay now in the third step we're going to simplify the math and the way to do that is as follows limit as h approaches 0 we're going to write the numerator part in two levels because we may we want some more space in here so 100 plus 15 times x is 15x plus 15 times h is 15h minus of x squared plus 2x 2xh plus h squared that is what we have in the first part of the for, uh, uh, equation in the second part of the equation we're going to distribute the negative sign to every one of the terms inside the brackets so therefore negative 100 minus 15x plus x to the power of 2 and therefore the whole thing divided by h so therefore we can now simplify this part this uh, this expression some more and then write this one out as follows limit as h approaches 0 the numerator part we can simplify it some more we have 100 plus 15x plus 15h we're going to distribute this negative sign to every one of the terms inside the parenthesis minus x squared minus 2xh minus h squared minus 100 minus 15x plus x squared and this whole thing is divided by h like that we can simplify this some more and as we can see we have um, some numbers which are equal to but opposite in sign we have a positive 100 and a negative 100 that cancels out we have a positive 15x and a negative 15x that cancels out we have a negative x squared and a positive x squared which cancels out so therefore we can simplify this one as follows limit as h approaches 0 we are left with 15h minus 2h uh, 2xh minus h squared. So 
H is common in all the three uh, parts in here. Therefore, I'm going to pull out H as common. So we have 15 minus 2x minus H in the numerator. And then I have H in the denominator. The reason I did that was because I have an H in the numerator, H in the denominator, so I can cancel them out. So therefore, I can simplify this some more as follows. The limit as H approaches 0, I can write this one as uh, 15, limit of 15 as H approaches 0, minus the limit of 2x as H approaches 0, minus the limit of this, this function H as H approaches 0. So we can simplify this as follows. The limit of a constant number as H approaches 0 is going to be equal to 15. The limit of, uh, of the function 2x as H approaches 0 is going to be equal to 2x. And then the limit of H as H approaches 0 is going to be equal to 0. So therefore, this function simplifies to negative 15 minus 2x. So therefore, this is our first derivative of this given function. So we can, we can come back and then write this one out as follows. Um, the given function was c of x is equal to 100 plus 15x minus x squared. So if I were to state the, uh, the application problem one more time, a company determines that the cost to manufacture x, x uh, cases of jam is given by this this equation c of x equals to 100 plus 15x minus x squared we want to find the instantaneous rate of change of cost with respect to the number of cases produced when one case of jam is produced and when five cases of jam is produced so now we are ready to uh, ready to um, apply these uh, these different uh, scenarios into this problem. So what we have found here is if this is the function, when we find the first derivative, the derivative comes out as follows. This is going to be 15 minus 2x. So that is what we found. And let me put a box around this. And now we're going to come back and then look at these different different scenarios in here. We want to know when when one case of jam is produced, what is the what is the cost? C prime of one is going to be equal to fifteen minus two times one, which is going to be equal to fifteen minus two, which is equal to thirteen dollars. When the value of x is equal to five c prime of 5 is going to be equal to 15 minus 2 times 5 which is going to be 15 minus 10 which is going to be equal to five dollars which is going to be equal to five dollars so therefore this is how we can figure out uh, the cost the cost of producing jam uh, if one case of jam is produced it is going to cost us 13 dollars if five cases of jam are produced, it is going to cost us five dollars. And therefore, this is how we're going to solve application-related problems using limits uh, to, to, to find the derivative of a function. In my next presentation, we shall see some more examples, some more application examples related to derivatives of a function.